Possum Patty from Pennsylvania here with an art journal flip. This is number two in my Strathmore 500 series mixed media journals. I journaled in this book between November of 2014 and January 2015. This is way back in my early sketchbook school days. So there's a lot of note taking. I took a course uh, called Foundations with Liz Steele. And so there's a lot of note taking also in this book. I went to a lecture by Jeremy Jackson on Ocean Apocalypse Now. This was at the Franklin and Marshall College. I took some notes and did a quick sketch of him. And this is from a book that I gave my friend Sheila, The Ocean World by Jacques Cousteau. This is one of the last books he did before he died. I took my journal to the John James Audubon Center in Millgrove, Pennsylvania. Went to a lecture on the unfeathered bird. And this is a owl sketch that I did while I was there at the center and some notes from the lecture. This was homework from the course. Um, we did a blind contour. I was working on a skull in a box to get different shapes. Some notes about how to get the relationship between the two different objects. So. You can see the points in this one. Continuous line contour and then a sketch. Some more homework from Foundations. Working on abstracting shapes. So I had a coffee pot and a honey jar. And I drew these with watercolors. First one here, I have a note. Oh my, not even close. This was not the shape of the teapot. And the second one seems to be a little bit better. Third, practice, practice, practice. Getting the correct shapes. This was Thanksgiving Day. This is my son and my daughter-in-law on their first Thanksgiving today, uh, day as Mr. and Mrs. This was a tree I sketched from the news in Reading, Pennsylvania. They had such an ugly tree, it gained uh, popularity because it was so ugly, and they started calling it the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. This was in Reading in 2014. There was a big to do over whether they should leave it up or let it stay or let it throw or throw it away. More homework. This one was working on negative shapes. And this one was shapes and cast shadows and form shadows. It went to Climbers Run in Lancaster, PA. Did nature journaling with my friend Carol. This was a wood duck. Some more homework from Foundations. Still working on blocking in simple shapes. Getting the shadows correct. This one was homework called Feeling Edges. We had to do some foliage up against a building. This one was done with a regular ink and this one was done with ink that was not waterproof, but I like the soft edges that it gave the snow. More homework, abstracting shapes. This side I was working on a mailbox with the basic shapes, pulling them apart, and a birdhouse, working with the basic shapes. And this side I did a planter, pulling the shapes apart, and this was a sundial. December 3rd was the 112th anniversary of the birth of Foyle Cantrell. That was my grandfather. So I have some family history notes here. And I took an old photo and did a sepia sketch of my mom and her dad. 
On December 4th, I went to a lecture by Danny Gregory at Kutztown University on Everyday Matters. And I took some notes and I sketched him while he was talking. I took one of the posters after the lecture and I cut it up and put it in my journal. And it says, storyboard feeling. A whole group of little drawings look good, even if individually they are not so great. And then I have a quote from Danny, and I tried to copy one of his self-portraits. Here, I loved all the different colors that was in it. I'm not trying to make pretty pictures. The subject of my art is my life. Talent is another word for passion and hard work. Mistakes are part of the process. I call it art with a small a. He talked about kids art and so when I went home I put some copies of some art my son had done at age five in kindergarten about dinosaurs. And then I copied here the pterodon. Love the way it came out. It said instead of copying the masters study the art of young children. Which is what I did. This is some more homework from sketching course. Sketching now this foundations. And we had to draw a stack of books, which was really, really hard to get the angles on the books when you stack them up. Some more homework, constructing volumes. You had to draw a chair. So I did a quick sketch of a chair, and then in these pink lines, I checked out and found out that it was all wrong. These two distances should be about the same. So this part is too tall, this part is too short, the legs didn't line up, this leg was too far forward, and this didn't align with the leg down there. I did draw it over again here. So I have all the correct measurements and the, the legs are all lined up. Everything nice and square, correct proportion. I took my journal on November 7th to the Delaware Art Museum with Sheila, Rosemary, and Morgan, all sketchbook school scholars. Love the statue, statue in front of the museum, so I did a sketch of that. There's a pair of socks that I bought at the museum as a souvenir. I love the Van Gogh sunflowers that were on there. We were seeing a exhibit by Brian Selznick. Another lesson on December 11th, drawing with ink only. And I know Liz Steele loves to do teacups and teapots. So I got out some of my teacups and teapots. And yes, most of my teacups do have dragons on them. And I got very frustrated and I wrote a little note to Liz. It says, you said that you are not good at drawing people, but I am beginning to believe that teacups and teapots are the same as people. They all have their own quirky shapes, sizes, styles, and colors. Their unique characteristics make them a challenge. Back to the Audubon house. This um, was John James Audubon's table with specimens, all natural specimens, and some of his drawing and sketching supplies at the Audubon Center. I did the bird over again. This is the bird that I did back at the beginning of the book. I did him again. Put a little more action. This one he looks kind of stiff, very stuffed pose. So this time I tried to make him look more alive. And then I took some notes from the Audubon Center there about how the great horned owl is called the tiger of the air. This was at Noldy Forest Environmental Education Center. It's an old Noldy mansion. The family donated it to become a state park. It was the first environmental education center in the state of Pennsylvania. This was a special door that opened up to the nursery and it has little mother goose rhyme figures on it. This was the outdoor patio working with Lid Steel to get the correct 
angles on the buildings, correct proportions. It's called a measured setup. This was a little fun with sketchbook school uh, student Lynn Cohen. And I don't know why I can't remember, but everybody was drawing portraits of Lynn and pasting them on the sketchbook school Facebook page. And then it was tired when I was getting to go to bed and it dawned on me that I was the only one in the world who had never drawn Lynn Cohen. So I got out the sketchbook and drew a quick sketch of Lynn Cohen. A little family history on this page about my family, um, the German side of my family coming over and during the days of the founding of Philadelphia, bricklayers for William Penn, and some people in the family who were bodyguards to George Washington during the Revolutionary War, and carrying on some German traditions like the making of the holiday gingerbread house and also the German uh, tradition of hanging the Christmas pickle on the tree. It says as many as 0.001% of the German population follows this tradition. Started by a Woolworth salesman in the United States during the 1890s because they had too many glass ornaments in the shape of vegetables. So he started this tradition to get people to buy these glass ornaments. And you hang it on the tree and the first person who finds it on Christmas morning gets a special prize or good fortune for the coming year. It was just a snowy day in, in December and sketching of the snow coming down with some trees in the backyard and a copy of my poem, The Winter's Night Blessing on the Winter Solstice. Some more lessons, minimal setup. So I did my, my tote bag. Gesture setup. I did some tracks. Uh, beaver tracks and then on this side I did the beaver skull and some sticks that the beaver had chewed on and you can see these red marks here called establishing the major edges drawn with ink only no pencil set up Here I am channeling my inter, inner Frita, Frita Kelo. I actually have a dress. This is my dress. And I was having uh, to go to the cardiologist, so I drew a heart. And there's a photograph of me dressed up as Frita Kelo in the hospital, sketching my arm and what they gave me to drink after my procedure. And this one I did when I got home. I found a picture of my cardiologist online and I turned him into an astronaut. And the background, I used watercolor with salt to get this texture. And here's my heart as a space anomaly. And my cardiologist is exploring this anomaly. The strange signals coming from this anomaly, which is my heart. Here's a picture I did, a self-portrait. I drew it in the car while traveling in the car. And I flip-flopped it. I put the skin tones in the background and the background tones on my face. Some more homework working on angles, roof angles. And Christmas tree. Some lessons from a tree. Cooperate and exchange with other life forms. Be connected with the earth and the heavens. 
exhibit a joyful and tranquil humility. And the Cardinal is saying, be proud of your abilities and for the things you have achieved. Open yourself to creative energy. And the pine cones on the Christmas tree symbolize the divine. Having some fun with some medicine bottles and using large acrylic markers. Flipping them around, trying to get the different shapes. It says, caution may cause dizziness. Drug may impair ability to operate mechanical pencil or refill a fountain pen ink cartridge. This is a capote coat that I made from an antique Hudson Bay blanket. And I got my Lamy pen. This is when I first got my Lamy pen. And I sketched the coat, and then when I went to put in the watercolors, my lines kind of melted away because the ink that was came in the cartridges was not waterproof. So I took a refillable cartridge, and I put in some um, Noodler's Bulletproof ink, and then put the watercolor, and you can see how it did not affect the lines that time. So we have two different versions. Not waterproof, waterproof. Just a little nature journaling. This is a goldenrod gall. And an apple tree on January 2nd. The apple wassail. Here's to thee, old apple tree. Stand fast root, bear well top. Pray send us a howling good crop. Every twig, apples big, every bough, apples now. It's the old English apple wassail. This is my Lamy Joy calligraphy pen that I was using to sketch with and to write the poem. It was raining this day so I sketched my new boots. They have all little owls on them and it's quite the brilliant pink background. Another little apple tree This was a conversation between myself and my husband. I told him, I'm going out for a walk. He replies, it's too foggy. I'm only going to walk around the yard. And he said, a raccoon will come out of the woods and attack you. So I stayed in the house and I drew my attack raccoon. Some notes from Sketchbook School Beginnings on creativity. After watching all six of the Hobbit and Lord of the Ring movies, I decided to draw some round Hobbit doors, inside and outside. This is the fancy hardware on the inside. This is what it looks like on the outside. There's a cold, windy, snowy day. I was making a veggie juice. So I sketched my juicer and some carrot, celery, spinach, and apple. Adding some letters to the page. Going to a portrait studio. Here was our model, and I sketched the artist sketching the model. Exploring textures. We had to draw an item of seasonal clothing with a lot of line work, and then doing the same one over again, a little bit looser. They look almost the same, but you'll notice this one has a lot of very fine lines. And I did add some bling, because that bling is really on the hat. And this one, just with the watercolors and not so many fine lines, and adding a little more bling. This is my favorite hat. It's very warm, has a felt lining. And inspired by Kosha, Sketchbook School, done is better than perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.